I'm Callie with Ag Aviation Adventures, and today we're bringing you inside the office to show you a little bit about what I do here on the ground. In this business, efficiency is key. It is time and it is money. There are only so many minutes in a day, and we need to utilize every single minute to the best of our capability. This would not be possible without a computer program such as the one I'm about to show you today. This is Ag Opti and this was our first year using Ag Opti and it was a little bit different this year because as you know we bought our own business and so we wanted something that was both affordable, user friendly and worked for us in ways that we needed the program to work for us and I'll go into that in detail here in a little bit. This is definitely behind the scenes what I do in this office and a lot of people don't really understand how a field gets from a farmer needing their field sprayed to getting it done with the airplane. First of all, I wanna talk a little bit about my experience. I have been using two other programs for the last 12 years. And of course, every program is gonna have something that I like and dislike. They're all a little bit different, but the outcome is generally typically the same. The thing that's not the same is the time that it takes to get from point A to point B. And that was really something we wanted to cut back on this year was the time it takes to getting the maps in the program and getting the maps onto our board here. So this is our clipboard uh, system. And right now it's set up for days of the week because when we're doing a fungicide run, we're going by days of the week. Now in the early season when we're kind of doing a pasture run, I'll have wind directions up there so we can organize everything by wind directions. This is just helping us stay organized. But in the height of the season, these clipboards will be completely full of maps that need to get sprayed. So getting the maps from the farmer into the program, onto the board, and into the airplane, that's the general flow of everything here. Every operation is a little bit different in terms of how they're working with the customers and the farmers. For us, we work with individual farmers, but we also work with retailers. And the retailer is a place where the farmer is going to go to the retailer and work with them to get their chemical sorted and figure out what fields need to be sprayed. So then the retailer is coming to us and saying, hey, this is what I need to be sprayed for Joe Farmer. Not only do we have farmers coming in our doors, but I also work closely with those retailers. And something that's really important for us, and I think one of the main points about Ag Opti is how easy the user interface is to learn, to understand, and to use. It's easy for me, but more importantly, it was easy for our retailers to jump on and put those maps in from the farmers that are coming to them. The more that the retailer can take on in terms of mapping, that saves me time. So it was important for me to be able to show them this program and say, hey, this is how you do it. If you have any questions, let me know. It was relatively easy for them. And then also on my end, on the organization side, I can see each retailer separately and then draw from those accounts and print maps and get them on our board. So if you're working with several different retailers, you can keep it all separate and see it all in one place. And this is the place where I hang out the most during the summer. This is the dispatch page. So once we have a bunch of fields in here, I can see exactly where all the fields are and they're color coordinated by what needs to get done the soonest or what's the oldest order that we have. Another great benefit to Ag Opti that I've found, again, time is money, and that means for me too here in the office, how quick and easy I can get through and get a field in, get a farmer in, and get it on the board. With the past programs that I've used, it takes a lot more time and there are a lot more steps involved in getting to that end result. That's one thing I found with Ag Opti and I'll even go through right now and show you guys how quick it is to add a farmer, add their field, add the chemical, make an order and print it out. And one thing I will say too is that this was our first year using this, so we had to put everything in. We had to put all of our chemical in, all of our retailers, all of our farmers, all of that information. So next year, when we're working with the same retailers and the same farmers, it's going to be a lot faster and a lot less steps involved because we're already going to have all the information in the database. If you're working with retailers and they've been using a program in the past, Ag Opti has migration tools available to bring over information from pretty much any of the software programs out there. Miles is extremely helpful and he's always willing to walk you through how to do that. This also goes for an operator. If you're using a different program, there are migration tools to bring all of your information into Ag Opti. 
For us, we didn't have to worry about that because we were new this year, so everything was brand new for us. We didn't have any of that information to bring into the program. I feel like there's so much involved in this program and there's so many great features about it, but this video would be hours long if I went through all of them. So I'm going to try and narrow it down and just show you guys some of my favorite features. Again, go into this dispatch page. One of the things I love about it is that you can filter your dispatch list and you can show orders by retailer, you can show them by agronomist, you can show them by chemical, so you can really get into the nitty gritty. But seeing it all on the map is the key for me because we're running out of three different locations and a lot of times what I'll do is we'll be spraying at our home base and then we'll have spraying to do at one of our other locations. Well, we can see on the map what needs to get sprayed between here and there. And again, it's just all about that maximum efficiency and making sure that we're doing things in a methodical order as they need to get done. From this dispatch page, I can control what goes into a certain load or a certain batch. And then from that batch, we'll divide that out into how many loads that it needs to be for the airplane. So this right here is a load that I've created from the dispatch page. And I'll go ahead and talk about really quick what I like about the maps that are printed from AgOpti. Every program is gonna be slightly different and the biggest thing I think for us is just simplicity. We want this to be easy for Tyson to look at and read while he's in the cockpit and he needs to be able to get the information from these maps that he needs in a quick and timely fashion. So this is the load sheet. This is showing our three fields are here on this load sheet and then we have it broken down per order. So this is one field, chemical, all of the information on this map and we really like the layout of this map. We feel like it doesn't have any extra information. It has all of your pertinent information that you need and you can quickly glance at it and see what needs to get done. The map is also nice and visible for the pilot. Once Tyson's done spraying the field, he can input his information, the date, the time, the acres, the temp, and the wind, and then I can easily look at this and input it in Ag Opti. For us, these maps also make record keeping very easy. Another place where I'm spending a lot of my time throughout the day is the loads page. And this is showing me everything that I have taken from that dispatch map, put into a load, and now have printed out. And something that I love about AgOpti is that it is really easy and quick, I feel like this is a theme, to find what you're looking for especially with the filter selection here. So you can type in anything. You can type in a farmer, you can type in an agronomist, and it's just really easy to quickly pull it up and have it in front of you. That's one thing when a farmer calls me and has a question, I wanna be able to get the information in front of me as quickly as possible and not have to fumble through a bunch of information to find what I'm looking for. So just being able to really dial down the filter and get what you need in front of you is quick. You can also pull all of your loads up on a map. Again, this is the demo program, and I can see where all of my loads that are printed are here on the map. They're color coordinated, and so you can see them each individually very easily. Another awesome feature about Ag Opti is what's called the summary page. And this isn't something that I'm really looking at throughout the day, but maybe every couple of days or at the end of the week, I'm over here at the summary page, and you can see exactly what you have to spray what's gotten sprayed, and you can look by retailer, by date, and so it's a really easy, awesome page to glance at and just see where you're sitting. One thing I really had no idea about when we walked into this business was billing, invoicing, and getting paid, and I wasn't really sure how I was gonna do that, and I wanted to make sure I had a good flow in place so that I wasn't missing anything, and it was just a system that worked out. Luckily for me, Ag Opti integrates seamlessly with QuickBooks. If I bounce over to this other tab here, there's a tab for QuickBooks invoicing. You simply select the fields or the orders that you wanna invoice, and then you have your rates, and you can put in as many different rates or variables as you want in QuickBooks, and then it integrates into Ag Opti, and so you click all of that, and then you hit submit, and it submits an invoice to QuickBooks. It's easy, it's simple, and I can keep track of everything in two places. But once it submits to QuickBooks, then it shows invoiced on the Ag Opti side. And I can easily go to my data page, click print, and print out any orders associated with a certain invoice. So 
If I'm invoicing a retailer, that's going to be a lot of different farmers and a lot of different orders. If I'm invoicing one separate farmer, it's just going to be the orders for that farmer. You can do a lot of different things with it and I found it to work really well. And again, it was easy for me to learn and catch on to and it kept everything organized and kept me on top of tracking our payments. Something that can be quite daunting as an operator is managing the as applied maps. With Ag Opti, it's really easy to pull in the information and something that usually takes a long time and a lot of processing is fairly quick and simple with Ag Opti. Once you upload the file, Ag Opti does all of the processing and all of the hard stuff, and then you just click into the order and can see your as applied. All right, before I wrap this up, there are a few more things I wanna to touch on about the program. Again, I know I didn't run through all of the features, but they also have a great YouTube channel out there that shows you how to use things. You can even demo the program, get in there, play around with it, see if you like it. One thing that's been really important for us is that the customer support with Ag Opti has been incredible. And we work early mornings, late evenings, and so sometimes our hours when we need that support are a little bit outside of the norm and Miles has been really open to helping us with any issues that we've had arise, whether it's in the middle of the afternoon or late in the evening. Especially for me, sometimes the only time I get in the day to map stuff is like 9 or 10 p.m. And so having that customer support pretty much at all hours has been awesome. He's also been receptive to things that have come up that I've said, hey, this would be awesome if you did this, or this could benefit everyone for this reason. He's been receptive to those changes and has even put in some changes already this season that we've been really happy with. I think one of the main things that tells me that Ag Opti is a solid program is how many questions and complaints I had from retailers this year, which were pretty much zero. There were minimal issues. They didn't have to call me constantly asking me how to do something. And any questions that they did have were more basic questions about the program, like will they archive their orders so they can go back and see them next year? Stuff like that. I think that speaks volumes to Ag Opti is just how few questions the retailers had for me when they were learning how to use this program. I know pricing is gonna be a huge question, I honestly couldn't get online and find pricing for Flight Plan Online or AgSync. You can see all of the pricing on Ag Opti's website for the different levels. I would suggest premium because you get 24 seven customer support. You get OptiLoad, which I didn't even really touch on, but there is a YouTube about it. QuickBooks integration and also unlimited retailer accounts, which is important for someone like us who works with a lot of retailers. Another great thing about Ag Opti is that you can prepay and get a discount. The more acres you do, the cheaper it's going to get. So again, check out the website and you can see the different pricing structures. It's all open and out there for you to view. Overall, Ag Opti has brought our business maximum efficiency with minimal headaches. And I think that's the most important note of the whole program in and it of itself. It's easy and it's quick. The user interface is awesome and it does everything that we need to do and more while keeping us on track to stay efficient and keep Tyson in the air, which is our main goal. One last thing that I want to mention about Ag Opti is that no matter what device you're using, whether you're on your computer, on your cell phone, or on an iPad, it works really well no matter what device you're using. It's incredible that I can be driving and if I need to look at something, I can quickly pull it up on my phone works really well. I have everything there at my fingertips. I've used programs in the past that do not work unless you are on a computer and it's impossible to use on your phone, which I find to be a huge headache. I love with Ag Opti that I can pull this up no matter what device I'm using and it works seamlessly. Another little bonus feature that I love is that if I have the order pulled up on my phone and let's say I wanna go take photos of Tyson spraying this field, all I do is pull the order up on my phone, hit the drive to button and it takes it into my maps app and takes me right to the center of the field. I think that's really cool. That's something I haven't seen in the past. Again, there are so many features about Ag Opti that I could go on for days talking to you about these, but overall, maximum efficiency, minimal headaches. It's been a huge part of our operation this season and for many seasons moving forward. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments section below. Also, like I said, be sure to check out our link because you'll get a discount if you use it. Thanks for watching. If you're not following us on social media already, please do so at Ag Aviation Adventures.